All right, guys. All right, so beautiful day today, and uh, I've been really resting up for this day. Um, we've been having some rainy weather, so I just took it easy inside, resting my hip, feeling great today. The sun's out. It's going to be a, a warm kind of day. It's going to get up in the 70s, so perfect. So uh, I went and got some materials the other day to do something, and that's what I'm going to show you today. All right, so ma mainly what I'm going to do is I'm cleaning up my mess here. We got family coming in tomorrow for Thanksgiving, and I'm going to clean up this mess. But the uh, part of the way I'm going to do this is I got to eliminate a lot of this that's on the shelves so I can put other stuff on the shelves. <laughs> you know what I mean? So my tools, I'm actually going to put them in my in my uh my trailer I have my closed in trailer I have out here because I basically have tools in there now and uh, so when I, the way I'm gonna do this is I'm putting some shelves on the wall so I'm just putting two two four foot shelves on each side of the trailer uh, toward, toward the back of the trailer so that it doesn't get in the way walking in with stuff and um, so I've just got uh, six shelf brackets to put up I bought I bought a piece of uh, shelving material already cut to four feet it's only 12 inches wide I need 18 but I'm gonna pull it off the wall uh, a couple of inches and uh, look at this lizard on the on my lock way I gotta get right here look at that come on get off get off go ahead Go, go away, go. <laughs> He's probably going to get inside, which is, I'm not worried about it, but, you know, if Eliana comes here and she's helping me, and uh, the lizard's in there, she'll probably uh, freak out a little bit. Hanging out on here, he's up here now. Okay, there he goes. All right, we got him off. He ran off in the garden. It's a good thing. Okay. So uh, this is my closed-in trailer here, as you can see. Okay, and. Um, so the, the plan is, and you can see how I got stuff in here already. I already have uh, my, uh, I have my table saw back here, and this is my my miter saw. Then I got my lawn equipment there, which is just a blower and a uh, weed eater. And I got some tools in here. But what I'm going to do back here and back there is uh, put me uh, two shelves, uh, four feet. Two four foot shelves. And I don't have much space to move around. I just got this one little walkway here. But I bet I could still do it. I'll have to move those pieces of plywood forward. And those are coming out anyway because Friday I got somebody coming here and we're going to work on the house. And those, both of those pieces are for my house, I think. Uh, they look like they got two different types of wood. I don't know what the other one would be. It looks like it's got the, uh, it's got the, the thing for, uh, the overlap, but, uh, I can't remember right at the moment. So anyway, I gotta move, I gotta move both of those up forward because the shelves are gonna go back here. I gotta come down low enough to, uh, be able to get my boxes. See, uh, there's a, there's a gecko right there. So got my got my levels here. So I'm gonna get my material out and uh, I, I kind of see what I need to do. So I am gonna have to do a little bit of rearranging in here. That's fine. I, I need to rearrange this where I can get in here better anyway. Um, I wish I didn't have all this, but I guess it's better to hang on to it. But I have, I do have a, a generator sitting here, 
And then this white thing you see here is actually a 100 gallon gas tank. And up here, that right there in the red box, that's the pump that you put on it to pump the gas out. Well, for Hurricane Ida, we thought, because uh, there was talk or rumors that we were going to be out of electricity for, you know, Ida hit at the end of August and it was, it was talk that it was, probably wouldn't be until November when we were getting electricity back. Now, there were parts of our area that it took that long, but my neighborhood was cranked up and and uh, a week later I bought all that and I was gonna I was gonna mount the gas tank on my open trailer fill it up and keep that here chained down and, and, and everything and pull it in the back and, um, and that way I would have gas to run my generators and at that time I had two of them I sold one or I returned one and I kept and I kept one so I had two of them, and I was going to put them on each side of the house, and I, would, and I had come home, and I was running my electrical, and uh, I got one side done where all I had to do was crank up the, uh, crank up the uh, generator, plug it into an outlet I made outside, and it was, I had uh, outlets inside that you, would, you can plug into there and run refrigerator, window unit, with it, uh, lights, all that kind of stuff, and then I was going to have one on the other side of the house, and I never, I didn't even get to even use it. I got the wire ran. I was getting ready to. Uh, I've tried it out since then, but I never did have to use it at all. I would just I would tried it out, and no sooner, no sooner did I get get that one side hooked up, the power comes on. So we had power. Um, almost the whole time now we didn't get back to the house for two weeks after after the hurricane hit and then it was a week so it was almost a month three weeks that my house was out of electricity right okay so um but we were only here a week and uh actually we wasn't even here yet we still had the uh hotel room i was coming back and forth and i was here and I got this, uh, I was getting everything ready so they can come back and have air conditioning, you know, Mindy and Kara. And that's when it came on. So then I was able to get them to come home and uh, after a week. So that was good. So anyway, all right, so this is what we're going to start on. Um, one of the things that uh, helped me to realize I could put shelves up, because I, I wasn't even realizing it, was uh, I was in here just the other day, and I noticed, like... And, and everybody might know about all this, but I don't know. Let's see, let's see if you can see it. Right here is a like a stud. Got one here, here, right there, right next to that screw. It, like since it's all black, it's hard for you to really see it. Let me see if I can get an angle on it. Really can't see it. But anyway, uh, so that that gives me my areas to uh, screw into, right? So. Um, so, I just got to figure out three, I'm going to do it on three of them, okay, and uh, put the shelf on, anchor the shelf to the uh, brackets, and that'll give me uh, four feet on this side and this side, and I can put all my, you know, my tools that look like in a box like that in a way, you know what I mean? And uh, I could put all that on the shelves, and that would be taken care of probably from about here back, and... Uh, that's what I need. I need to do that um, because this trailer here has really become my uh, big toolbox to put all my tools because I'm not using that uh, the shop in the back because it's infested with rats and it's filthy dirty and I don't really go in there and I got plans to uh, redo that area to make a, a workstation and uh, a microgreen form if we're not moving and if we have to stay here and live that's what's going to happen to that that building okay so I'm not even gonna you know the next thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna hire some of the they got some they got uh, Mexican guys that hang out at Home Depot uh, always looking for work and I was thinking on hiring a couple of them get them over here clear that out I'll be able to give them some of the tools that's in there because I, I don't want everything in there I'm, I'm not doing all the kind of work that I used to do. I used to do all, you know, remodeling, and I had, I got tools 
you know, for just about anything you can imagine that you need to do stuff. And uh, and not not expensive tools. I mean, I didn't go out that way. I mean, but I've I've had tools to do many jobs. Let's say, okay. So there's some stuff that's still in there that would need to be cleaned out. And um, uh, and I was just gonna pay pay a couple of guys get in there and let them clean it out, clean everything out of it, and then I need to work on uh, getting it closed up on the outside to keep critters from getting in because critters get in. Okay, so there's the shelves right there. I got two shelves, they're four feet by 12 inches by four feet. And um, okay, this is the self tapping screws. Self tapping screws. And this is the uh, these are nice. These these are ten bucks a piece. This is expensive, but they nice. And um, I think uh, they'll last a while and I'll handle the weight. And that's what I'm looking for because I could I could have um, a lot of weight, but I gotta still watch the weight because I mean those little struts that they got on the sides of this trailer for you know for studs they're not the strongest thing in the world so you can't put a bunch of weight on it and that's why i'm dividing it up i eventually was thinking about putting one shelf on one side i decided to divide it up on each side and put it toward the back so that's the plan let me get some tools out and uh we'll get this this sort of really go kind of quick i mean the hardest thing is going to be trying just getting in there but the actual working of putting the shelves up and installing the the, the shelf brackets, I mean, that's going to all be really easy stuff. I'm not cutting anything, really. Just got to screw the, screw the things in there. Uh, I can't use my level because the, the, uh, the thing ain't uh, level. It's leaning back some, and um, which I could probably lower it to level a little bit. It don't matter. I could just matter. I'll just take the measurements off the ceiling and uh, use my level to draw a straight line screw in the uh the brackets and put the put the shelf on top you know and i, I want to get uh i got to look in here i think i have some uh pipe clamps um electrical pipe clamps that they you know they go around a, a pipe and you have uh two little flat pieces on each side you can screw it down it goes over a pipe and i'm thinking of mounting those that way uh when, uh, putting those on each side of the shelves and I can use that as a as a, a way to attach um, a strap a ratchet strap to tighten them to hold them up there like if I when I have to go get me trees all that stuff can stay in there because the trees that ain't going to affect the trees the trees can be bent under that or the, or the shorter trees can be put along that the the edge of the uh, the trailer uh, underneath the, the shelves, so so it's not gonna the shelves are not gonna get in the way of me loading my trailer with trees, and uh, so that way I can keep those in there. All I gotta do is put a strap around the top and strap them in, and it'll hold them in when they won't fly out while I'm driving, you know, fall off and all that while I'm driving. All right, let me get my drill out, pencil, tape measure, things like that. And I can get get this rolling. Look at these two. They just having fun. Y'all having fun out here? Yeah, they're having fun. Look. <laughs> There's the bananas. Keep them tracked. To me, they they don't look like they're growing. But today, they they might get something happen today. They're gonna get some some warmth and some sunshine on them today. Um, Hopefully that'll help them. Okay. So these 
these are actually 16. 16 minutes, 32. So 48 minus 32. 16 inches would be 8 inches on both sides. I think it's 8 inches. It's still safe there. Eight inches. 8 inches is okay. Alright, so what we want to do from here, we want to come down 16. three quarters up here that gives me uh, 15 and a quarter and right now I got 15 inches that I'm getting in so this will be fine so now to get this one in back here right up in this area hold this out or Let me get a let me get one. See what kind of trouble I'm gonna have here. Because this tank could be in the way too. Let's see. And the tank ain't only to be able to screw in. Okay, so I gotta get this. That's one of those tents. Gotta get them out, gotta get it out of here. This probably be easier if I just unloaded this stuff out of here. I know it would be.
I'm probably gonna have to probably pull everything out to rearrange everything in here. If I keep, I was I was thinking about getting rid of these. These things are so old, and they really uh, give me trouble now. And right now, they're totally in the way as far as storing them. I don't really need them anymore. I used to, I used to use them because I used to go to farmer markets, and uh, I used to do garage sales out here, so I, I would have them. But you know what? I don't do all that. And if I do, you know what I'll do? I'll buy some new ones because these are so old; they don't even look presentable when you set up a, a booth. When you set up a booth, you want it to look nice, and these are so old and faded. thing the wrong way anyway. Here, but I need my little small because I can't get in between here so there's a little little right angle tool I have let me go get it Ow. all right let me go get that and I'm gonna need it for sure this is the little tool here see that allow me to get in there but I'm wondering if I probably ought to pre-drill a hole make it easier. Let's see if I'm able to get my hand in here. Let's try it. And actually, I need to get my other drill for this. Too small. I don't know, but we'll see. Won't we?
Love it. All right, guys. Well, daylight's running out, but I finally got it done. It took me a lot longer than I thought, I guess because of my hip and the way I moved. Look who's with me. She showed up. She showed up to help her big C out. So anyway, here's what it looks like now. I mean, it probably looks like a bunch of clutter to you, but I have more space and I got more stuff in here. And there, there it is there. And uh, you can see the got shelves here. I got shelves on that side. And then I made some, I mean, not made, I went and bought some some uh, hooks from uh, Harbor Freight. They're actually uh, those things right there. I got three more, and I hung the chairs up because I, the chairs were stacked against the wall coming out, so this kind of takes up the space on the wall. And, you know, all that wall space is, has always just been empty space there. <laughs> you know, yeah, so, there's never no shelves around. Yeah, like so that. getting all this up freeze up a little space in here to move around when I got to get in here and get whatever I got to get so this is it this is what it looks like so far guys and uh, we call it a wrap for today so we're picking up and um, yeah. what you got beehives too yeah so there it is the shelves some on that side there got two shelves a shelf on this side yeah three hooks and if i didn't have all that in the back i'd have a lot more space in here and i could probably put a rack of shelves all the way down you know from top to bottom back there and put all kind of stuff on it we and, never uh, had this much space there before no we never huh the, 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 like it would be a path like this but it would be like and we're going to be using some of this wood up soon and get all this out of the way that'll clear up just some more space here so so tomorrow, tomorrow we need the table, the big table that you got your hand on, and all the chairs for tomorrow. So we'll come get that out tomorrow, but everything will be easy to get to. I won't have to take nothing out to get those out. All right, guys, so hey, you want to tell them anything? Okay. What? So before we end the video, don't forget um, to like, subscribe, and share too. Okay? And comment. <laughs> okay? So goodbye. Goodbye.